Hello, my name is Good Space Guy, and I would like to make parking easier and cheaper in the city of Seattle. And you, the people of King County, are the owners of the Port of Seattle, which is a government business. The port taxes you directly through your property tax or indirectly through your rent, making your rent higher. What are you getting for your taxes? I think you are getting a lower living standard. By taxing you, your port's goal might be to get you to subsidize and improve the port so that employment will increase. But because of the huge unemployment caused by the job-destroying minimum wage, your subsidy to the port is more than canceled out. So many people not working. So many homeless people. The minimum wage forbids many less able people to work, which cannot be overcome by the taxes that you pay to the port. World economics teaches that the higher the minimum wage, the fewer the jobs. To earn the minimum wage or higher, workers have to produce at the minimum wage level or higher. Some don't and lose their jobs. As the minimum wage goes up, the less able and the less responsible people usually lose their jobs or don't even get jobs. It is wrong to use the minimum wage to forbid the less able to work. When we abolish the minimum wage, jobs will increase and homelessness will decrease. To increase jobs and raise the living standard in the wonderful competitive free market, we are supposed to set wages by supply and demand. So let's abolish the job destroying minimum wage laws. I am opposed to the restraint of trade that will be caused by the pending merger, partial merger with the Port of Tacoma. I, good space guy, say that work, wealth, and the competitive free market produce a higher living standard for the people than our current sabotage system. Study world economics and stop forbidding people to work.